What's up everybody? How are you today? Hope you are having an awesome, amazing day. So yeah, I cut my hair, but I didn't shave it fully. I kind of just took the clippers that I have and used the biggest length that I had, which was the number 8, 25 mm. Well, I trimmed my hair because Jen told me that once I get a perm that she doesn't think that I would really like a perm. And perms are actually really expensive. If I end up getting a perm and I don't like it, then I'm going to end up wanting to cut my hair. And it would be basically a waste of money. I was just like, okay, well, I'm just going to trim my hair and let it regrow back out. I like the hairstyle I have, but I think maybe keep it tamed. Like, don't let it get so long so that way it looks decent. Because, honestly, it was starting to look a little raggedy. Like, it was just going everywhere. Like, the cowlicks and everything was just horrible. I feel so much better, though. I feel like... I just dropped a hundred pounds off my head. I'm kind of like those people that I feel stress-free when I cut my hair or dye my hair. And when I cut my hair last night, I just felt a huge relief. It was like a bunch of weight just came off my shoulders. A lot of stress came off my shoulders and so much weight just came off my head. I noticed that when my hair grows out, I start getting a lot of headaches, which makes no sense, but it's weird. Once I cut my hair, my headache went away. I haven't had a headache so far. I don't know. It's really weird because how can growing long hair cause you to have headaches? But it does, especially with me. And I believe that's the reason why I always kept my hair short in the past because I always had that issue. It's hair. My hair grows really super fast, so in no time it'll be growed back out. I really would think I would look good with a perm. But then away, I don't think I would look good. And there is that 50-50 chance that I could like it or I wouldn't like it. And if I get the perm and I end up not liking it, then it'd be just a whole waste of money that I just wasted on getting a perm. I talked to Jen last night and she helped me make a decision that maybe I should just trim it since I don't literally like my hair super long. Plus when my hair gets like right here, it just irritates me. It bothers my face. I feel like there's a bug on my head and plus all the headaches. I threw my hair out here because I thought maybe the birds would like to use it for their nest, but that's my hair. <laughs> Jen is currently with our neighbor. She took our neighbor to the store really quick, and I'm still currently editing the vlog. And I thought where I'm editing the vlog, I should just go ahead and start today's vlog so that way continue my routines. If you've seen yesterday's vlog, you would see at the close to the end of the vlog, we had this big fire scare up on the hill. It caught on fire. A bunch of people were trying to put the fire out. And if the fire did not go out, they would have had to come and tell everybody to evacuate their houses. They couldn't tame the fire. I'm glad that they were able to tame it because our house is still standing. Everybody else's house is still standing, so that's a good thing. I'm going to take the trash down really quick. I have a, this other bag underneath my arm, so I can't really hold the tripod up. Oh, that breeze feels so good on my head. I have all the cats following me again. I see a chair. Looks like a cute little chair. What? Come on, this way. Look at all of them. I keep forgetting y'all's names because I get y'all mixed up. Are y'all hungry? I'll give you food. Come on. Even the mama cat even came. What? Are you hungry? Huh? Are you hungry? I think she's pregnant again. Look at that belly. It's pooching out. Are you pregnant again? Haven't you had enough babies? Are y'all coming? Come on. Come on, Patricia. Hi, Grace. I just opened the door and I forgot that I've laid my hair right there and I thought it was a rat. And I was gonna be like, oh, look at the rat. Look, the cats have walked this so much that they're starting to make their own little path. It goes right here. <laughs> and it keeps going. They're just making their own little path. So I just got done editing the vlog. I got it uploaded. My vlog just went up around 4.40. It wasn't that late. Hopefully you guys enjoyed yesterday's vlog. And I know today's vlog's not very interesting, but that's why I'm trying to film whatever I can right now. I'm going to walk over here and just look at that little tricycle. It's been over here for two months now. And I've never seen no kids mess with it. If it's big enough, try to see if I could be able to play on it. Oh god, it scared me. <laughs> I thought it was something right here and it's over on the other side of the road. You could smell that spire though, where it was burning up there in the hills. It smells good though. Oh, it looks super tiny. I don't think I would be able to do anything with it because how tiny it is. 
I mean, maybe. Oh, that's probably why, because the wheel's all crooked. And the front wheel doesn't work. Look, it doesn't even move. So that's why it's been out here for that long. They were like, screw it. This bike don't work anymore. I'm just going to leave it. That sucks. Look at all the cats. They're just sitting there watching me. While I was editing, like when I'm saving a part of a video, I will go and play on my other phone. Hope pass the time. Well, I noticed this. When I look at black letters, it looks like I'm seeing double vision. Like there's a word and then right underneath it, it's like it, there's a shadow of the word. I'm probably going to definitely have to go get my eyes checked because I know when I was younger I had to wear glasses every time I read and then I just stopped wearing them and that was when I was in high school and I haven't had my eyes checked since I've been in high school. The whole time I've been with Jen which we have been together for 11 years I have never went and got my eyes checked so I think it's time for me to schedule me an eye appointment and go get my eyes checked. I just hope I don't have to end up wearing glasses all the time. There's nothing wrong with wearing glasses all the time because I know tons of people that do but I just hate wearing glasses and I think that's the whole reason why I quit wearing them because they were just so annoying that every time I read I would have to put them on. What? So I guess I'm just gonna have to make an appointment. What are you doing? Jen just literally came out and just laid down on the ground. What the fuck? Is there a whole point to this? No. So you just, what did you do? Have an urge to come out and do this? <laughs> yeah. When the tooth drugs get to you. <laughs> I'm allergic to grass. You're allergic to grass as you're laying in the grass? You look like a big potato. I look like... Look. <laughs> You can sit with your family. I look like that! <laughs> you look like a dried up, old, wrinkled potato. I'm just kidding, you don't look like that. It just looks like you're trying to be the potato. Because you're just chilling. That's what they're doing. They're just chilling. I don't even know why your mom wanted us to throw them out here. Be the potato. <laughs> that looks so wrong! <laughs> Imagine if somebody drove by and they just seen you bent over like that and they see me with a camera they're thinking we're trying to film <laughs> a clothes on. Shy's like, what are you doing? Yeah, there you go, it's starting to get itchy. I went over to see that tricycle to see if it was like big enough for me to play on. And it's like for like a little two-year-old. What was that? Ow. Well he's so confused of what you're doing. Ow. What's she doing, Shy? I'm a potato. I'm a potato. <laughs> He's literally so confused. I'm a potato. Look, now they're looking at you. I'm a potato. Oh. No, they're gonna gang freaking Grace. Grace, you don't need babies again. No more babies. I don't know. I had the urge to come out here and lay. I. That's a weird urge, but... An impulse. I was wondering what you were doing. Because I just seen you step out, you looked at me and you waved, and then you just walked out and you just flopped down on the ground. Like, I wish I was recording you just flopping down. I'm a potato. Look at the baby clovers. Look. Oh, they're little babies. They're little baby clovers. Itchy. Oh, <laughs> you're laying in the grass. What do you expect? I just wanted to lay in grass. Here, you want a toupee? <laughs> Here, Olum. Olum, you want a toupee? It's a little chilly out here. <laughs> Olum. <laughs> what is Eat it, it, Olum? Eat it. You think you're done now? Yeah. With your random urge? Yeah, I think I'm itchy. Look, I think Tigger's gonna join in with the... I don't like you guys! <laughs> Beat him up, Grace. Beat him up, Grace. Get him, Grace. Get away from my baby. <laughs> She's like, get away from my baby. I was thinking of walking up there to see if we could see any of the burnt trees, but. Oh, no, there's a sign up there. I saw it when I came in. I'm itchy now. A sign? Yeah, there's a sign on the tree. It's probably going to say no trespassing. Probably think that somebody probably set it on fire. Oh, this one's greener. <laughs> <laughs> this is what the tooth drugs does to Jen. Are becoming a cat? Oh, Lum. Lum. Meow. Meow. 
He's just like looking like, what are you doing? <laughs> He's afraid of you. They don't even care. It's like a normal thing for them. Look. They're all just staring at each other. <laughs> oh, um, two, okay. two. I'm over it. You're over your little urge. Yeah. Just to lay in the grass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Oh, I just stepped it up on a potato. You stepped on my brother. <laughs> I mean, he's still half alive. I just squished his legs and his butt. <laughs> Why did your mom exactly wanted the potatoes here? Like, what are they supposed to do? She said where they were rot there, or whatever, they'll, they'll grow back or some shit. I don't fucking know. Since I didn't get to do the shout outs in yesterday's vlog, I told you I would do both of the video's shout outs in two days. A. Marie, thank you for commenting. You are awesome. Number two, Ritter Park, thank you for commenting. You are awesome. Number three, Jacob Thebalt. Thank you for commenting. You are awesome. Number four, Hannah's Life 5875. Thank you for commenting. You are awesome. Number five, Erica Flynn 7613. Thank you for commenting. You are awesome. Number six, Supreme PVP. Thank you for commenting. You are awesome. Number seven, Nightmare Juggalo 313. Thank you for commenting. You are awesome. Number the Boeing Pilot 123. Thank you for commenting. You are awesome. Number eight, Donna Burner Sloan 8651. Thank you for commenting. You are awesome. Number eight, Colin 2008. Thank you for commenting. You are awesome. Number nine, user hi 3QM2UZ6H. Thank you for commenting. You are awesome. Number 10. 01 Willis 16, thank you for commenting. You are awesome. So that is everyone who commented on the past two vlogs. I, thank you for commenting. You guys are awesome. I appreciate every one of you. Thank you for all the support. But I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. I know it was really short, but tomorrow's vlog will be so much better. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Make sure to turn my post notifications on so you never miss a new video. And make sure to stay positive and never give up. I will see you guys tomorrow.